TROS-1 was launched on April 1st, 1960 at 11.40 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. Its mission was to transmit the first television infrared images of Earth from space for meteorological purposes and thus become the first weather satellite to lead to accurate weather forecasts. TIROS, T-I-R-O-S, stands for Television Infrared Observation Satellite, and this was only the first in a long line of TIROS satellites used by NASA, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the U.S. Weather Bureau, and other organizations. TIROS-1 had a mass of 122 kilograms and was launched by a Thor Able 2 rocket. It was spin-stabilized at 12 revolutions per minute and was able to record images without blurriness despite this spin. It stored a series of still pictures and transmitted when in communication with a ground station, after which the recording tape was recorded over. While TROS-1 was able to serve successfully as a weather satellite, it was only operational for 78 days before suffering an electrical malfunction. The next four TROS satellites had slightly longer operational lifespans, but not too much longer, but eventually TROS-7 lasted for five years. TROS-1 was placed in a 665km by 631km orbit at an inclination of 48.38 degrees and while communication was lost on June 15, 1960, it is still in orbit. TROS-1 marked the start of attempts to warn populations about oncoming hurricanes and its legacy has been the saving of countless lives. Thank you for watching this mission profile of TROS-1.